Hey everyone, now let's talk a little bit about how to get a job in the mining industry or the resource sector. Now, look, first of all, let me tell you this. Uh, I'm getting straight to the point here. Look, for myself, how I got in the, got in the, the game was connections, people. And... <clears throat> and I didn't abuse their names about um, about not giving up on the opportunities opportunities that I had. So that's my that that was my way to get in, in in the game. And then I collaborated with other people in the game. You know what I mean. But prior to that. I'm going to tell you straight up, it was my qualification. Now, what qualification it was, what what it was, was my baller making, my trade certificate. Now, I can't stress to you, you've got to have some kind of certificate, you know, like uh, either it's a trade or uh, a high risk ticket, which involves like, I don't know, dogging, rigging or... Uh, scaffolding or um or or just a plain old trade man that right now what are the best trades to really have from my point of view would be first of all sparkies number one sparkies electricians second would be heavy diesel mechanics uh and thirdly would be Nonetheless, what I'm right now as a boiler maker. Now those three trades will land you a job as we speak anywhere in in Western Australia, anywhere in I don't know, you name it, uh, Queensland or any uh, mining industry. I can't stress enough about that. Eh? You know, you've got to get a trade. You've got to get some kind of qualification or to speak to someone in the game that's yeah upper management or superintendent now one warning to you all please don't come up to me and ask me for a job because i'm not a recruitment agency you know what i mean but um i just thought i'd share that with you all because I always get the DMs about, the, oh, Terry, have you, do you know anyone in this job here? Do you know anyone in this job there? Yeah, fair enough, he's asking me for, for a job. But look, respectfully saying, I'm, I'm honestly too, too, not so much too busy for that. But <coughs> I just haven't sort of got time to uh, dwell on that kind of stuff right now. <laughs> But um, look, from my personal experience, and I sincerely, I'm going to say this again, get you a mother in trade, man, or some, you know, high risk license or, or um, because it, it, it just makes it easier for you to try and, to try and get into the game instead of limiting yourself because most of the time I, I get DMs from like people who don't have basically nothing, you know, and I can't, you, you, you just can't, you can't literally uh, tell, tell them that you need qualifications or look, it's not really, from my experience, it's, it's not so much the experience that you actually need. But it's the actual qualifications, man. Whether it's if you've got a, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, working at heights or um, what is that other one? I'm having a little bit of a blank, but uh, uh, gas atmospheric uh, testing and all that kind of stuff and um, uh, fire firefighting um, qualifications uh, or. Uh, just get yourself some kind of qualifications that you actually need. But um, other than that, yeah, how, that, that's really how, how you get into the game because um, 
especially right now because it's booming and they really really this is coming from a tradesman myself I'm, I'm getting calls left right and center you know about uh oh so from companies that really need tradesmen and and that's truly the fact of life that we are honestly in demand so uh look get you followers a trade uh or get you get you some just get a qualification man and then uh get on like i don't know seek or indeed or and just browse around you know you got to take action you have to take action if you want if you really want a job uh, realis realistically speaking it's, don't procrastinate uh if you know what i mean so action is the key go and find search search google uh whatever you know seek get on there even if you're doing a bloody uh, emo or uh, i don't know uh, supervisory job or even that needs qualifications yeah a lot of qualifications uh section 44 and all that kind of bloody communication but that's that's there yeah. for level entry uh starters yeah that's basically all you what you need if you if if you really want to stay in the game long term get a qualification and most of all try and get a trade or something on the lines of that because you're not competing with other laborers it really is realistically you are you're either uh competing with like uh, i don't know these phenomenal amounts of tas anybody can do be a ta but no one can't be a tradesman or no one can't be a you know a uh, dog a rigger or yeah and so forth but uh that's my little bit of a little bit of a tip there uh there's nothing else much to say to try and get a job but yeah just get you massive qualifications like that so anyway bye for now